Hey, Monkey Brain Support here. Sorry to hear you're having issues with your internet connection. Let's get you back up to speed. First, we're going to cover how your internet service works and identify the different components in your setup. After that, we'll go over some basic troubleshooting steps and determine where along the line your issue might be occurring. Lastly, we'll go over some concepts and strategies to improve your internet connection if those basic troubleshooting steps didn't do the trick. Your internet service comes into your unit via phone jack which connects to your monkey brain's modem via telephone patch cable. Looking at this modem, your telephone patch cable should be plugged into the port labeled line or g.now. A separate ethernet patch cable will connect your modem to your wireless router. If you have a coax modem, a coaxial cable will connect from your wall jack to the COM port of the modem. A separate ethernet patch cable will connect your modem to your wireless router. Now that we've identified the components in your setup, let's check the health of your network cables. Inspect the length and ends of your ethernet, telephone, and or coaxial patch cables, ensuring each cable is plugged in securely and isn't damaged or strained in any way. If you find any of these cables are damaged, replace them. If you don't have a replacement, drop by your local electronics store or come by our SF or East Bay office during business hours and we'll give you one for free. Now that we've ensured your network cables are in good shape, let's reboot your in-unit devices. Let's reboot your wireless router and your monkey brain's modem by unplugging them both from power only for a full 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, plug all your devices back into power. Please be patient as it will take a few minutes for both devices to reboot and re-establish their connection to the monkey brain's network. Now that we've rebooted your in-unit devices, let's test your internet speed. The majority of slow speeds support tickets we receive aren't typically due to a problem with the monkey brain's network, but rather an issue with the client's wireless router. So to reliably determine if your speed issues are caused by your router, we need to perform a hardwired speed test. This takes the router out of the equation completely and gives us a definitive figure of the bandwidth monkey brains is providing to your unit. To do this, find the ethernet cable connecting your modem to your router. Unplug this cable from your router and plug it directly into your computer. If your router has an app, you may be able to run a reliable speed test that way. This may not be as accurate as a hardwired speed test, but it's a suitable alternative if your computer does not have an ethernet port. If your computer does not have an ethernet port and your router does not have an app, you'll need a USB to ethernet adapter or dongle to perform this test. These cost $10 to $20 online, and they're also available for pickup at our SF or East Bay office. Just drop by during normal business hours. Once your computer is plugged in directly, open a browser window. Go to speedtest.monkeybrains.net, and the speed test will begin automatically. When the speed test is finished, take a screenshot or photo of the results. In buildings like yours, we typically guarantee a minimum of 100 megabits per second upload and download for residential customers. If your hardwired speed test is well below this number, please let us know by responding to your ticket or calling our support department at 415-974-1313, extension 2. If your hardwired speed test is substantially faster than the speeds you experience over Wi-Fi, then we've determined your wireless router is to blame for your speed issues. But don't worry, there are solutions. Let's address some of the factors that might be causing poor Wi-Fi performance. Number one, you're too far away from your router. Wireless routers are devices that broadcast wireless signals. The farther away you are, the weaker your signal will be. If your router is down the hall or behind a couple of walls, you're sure to experience a drop in internet speed. If this is the case in your unit, consider moving closer to your router, upgrading to a router that broadcasts a stronger wireless signal, or investing in a mesh Wi-Fi system. Mesh Wi-Fi systems are comprised of multiple Wi-Fi units broadcasting the same wireless signal, resulting in a seamless Wi-Fi experience throughout your home. Do an internet search for mesh Wi-Fi system and see what options work best for your home. Number two, too much Wi-Fi interference. If you live in a high-rise or large apartment building, interference can be a big issue. The more Wi-Fi networks there are in your close proximity, the more noise your wireless router 
and your wireless devices have to compete with. You can investigate by opening any wireless device and seeing how many Wi-Fi networks are visible. If you see a long list of networks with strong signals, you're dealing with a good amount of interference. You can also check out Wiggle.net and see the interference for yourself. Wi-Fi routers with dynamic frequency selection do a much better job of mitigating interference issues compared to older models. If you think you might be experiencing interference issues, consider upgrading to a router featuring the latest in wireless technology. Number three, your router is simply out of date. If distance from your router or Wi-Fi interference aren't your specific issues, more than likely your wireless router is simply out of date. Generally speaking, if your router is over four years old, it's probably time to update your network equipment. Keeping your devices up to date is central to experiencing optimal network performance and keeping your network secure at home. We recommend investing in a modern, gigabit-capable router featuring the latest wireless technology. You can expect to spend $100 at minimum for a quality device with Wi-Fi as strong and reliable as your monkey brain service. Thank you so much for completing these troubleshooting steps with us today and considering our suggestions to improve your wireless network at home. If you are still experiencing issues, please respond to your ticket or call our support department at 415-974-1313, extension 